Solving equations with one unknown. Okay, I've put this down as a grade E level five, but these first two questions are really only one operation, which is a grade F level four questions. And this first one really is just a missing number question. What plus six is 10? And that's four. So C would be four, because four plus six is 10. Now the proper way to do that for when you get onto more complicated questions is to learn to take away this plus six, you're doing the opposite. So when this is something plus six is 10, to get back to what you wanted to start with, you have to do the inverse, the op opposite of plus, which is minus six, which gives us the four. This one, um, E divided by three is six. Now it's a very common mistake for people to see the three and divide and think that it's six divided by three, which is two. But if you think about it and put your number in there, two divided by three, it's not equal to six, so that's not right. What we've got to do here is the opposite of divide by three, which is times by three. So if we times this by three, that gets rid of that divide by three. And six three is 18. And hopefully, if you think about it, 18 divided by three is six, so that fits. But you've got to stop yourself from making that sort of basic error where you just see the six and the three and divide and divide the six by three. It helps if that's not, that number does not go into this number, then it's, it's easier to not make that mistake because you don't see the easy division that's wrong. Okay, so putting that together, we've got two, two parts of this question. We've got the two times x and the minus three. So if we think about it in a couple of ways, we could think about it as the first thing we're doing is times in by two, and then the next thing we're doing is subtracting three, and the answer is 10. So when we, we can come back by adding three and then dividing by two. So 10 plus three is 13, divided by two is 13 over two which is going to be six and a half. That's one way of thinking about it. Another way would be to actually um, do a more sophisticated sort of algebra approach, which is to think about what you do in each stage. So if I add three here to undo this step and rewrite the equation underneath after I've added three, take away three plus three is zero, and 10 plus three is 13. And then I divide by the two to get rid of this pair of twos. So x equals 13 over 2, which is 6.5 or 6.5. Okay, so that's a, a standard set of questions with, with equations. Quite nice, nice and easy answers. Um, this could be made a bit tricky if this was a negative or not such a nice fraction like a half. It could be a fifth or a third to make it more difficult. So if you learn the methods um, that I showed you there, you should be capable of doing any question like this.